Alright, well, my first attempt at a video messed up. Apparently, uh, the software doesn't read it when it's in full screen mode. So we're going to play in window mode. Uh, we've just come off the boat back from Stormreach. I've geared up, and I'm ready to do Corthos Island. And this is Corthos Village. Just a small little quaint town on Corthos Island, but currently they're being invaded by the evil Soagan we're here to stop them. So we'll go through the village square and head up to the very first mission, Hayden's Rest. Uh, it's bestowed by Kaja Bowerdaughter. And so we'll talk to her. Get the mission and go on in. This adventure supports multiple difficulty settings. We're going to do these on hard so I can unlock without an opener. Talk to Jacoby. He seems trustworthy. Well, I can spot the hidden. There's a hidden door right here. Oh, I can see it. Elven keen senses. Not much I can do about it, but at least I found a secret door. There's a chest. Yes, it's, it's trapped. See, the trap activates when you step inside right here. We get the massive loot. Actually, has pretty good loot. We don't have to worry about the gate because we're not going that way. I get the other sarcophagus. Yes, I did. Before they changed it, there used to be three spiders there. It was fun kind of kiting them around the entire dungeon sometimes. Kill the devourer minion. Yeah, I keep throwing elemental damage at me with my ship buffs. <laughs> These contain rusty items. And they changed this too. Now it's possible for them to res the zombies and whatnot. Did I get it in time? No. We'll just have to do better next time. That's another rusty chest containing rusty items. You can't sell them, they're not worth anything. Oh, I forgot the crest. These things drop crests, which you have to have to open the final door. I'll run really back. Run quickly back to the other one and get it. 
Well, we got this altar before he could activate the zombie or the skeleton or... For their worst first one, I kind of paused and was thinking, oh, I can just sit here and it won't activate. Wrong. Even in the first quest, they're teaching you that uh, quick action is the name of this game. There's some places where you have to stop and think, but not for very long. <laughs> okay, so we got two of the crests, so uh, onward and over to the other side. Kill us some devour our minions. He's going to try to arrange me with those wonderful... Oh, hey! He's got forest. Finally, I've been damaged. Oh, no. That's where we're going. We need one more crest to get in there. Oh, no. A magic missile. I can't avoid it. Oh, I'm not going to get damaged by those magic missiles anymore. Screw that. Yeah, this crest used to glow warm. All of a sudden now it's glowing cold. I don't... I don't get it. Did they so they can leave it in the freezer or something? I don't know. Oh, it's just too hot. We need it colder. Apparently I think this is so we can talk like Bartok from Anastasia. I have no idea. So we've collected the three crests, so we throw them in these little sockets. these people around. Pick one to die. This quest used to end when you killed the chief of the Sawagans. So you could like go for ransack by breaking all the dealies in here. Get our loot and get out of here. All right. And that's Hayden's Rest. We got to see pretty much all of it. Oh, yeah. One last thing. There is one rest shrine in there for those of you who do kind of lose your way. Let's finish it off. We'll go collect our mad fat loots from Teja Bauer Daughter. She gives you one of two necklaces. One of them, not too bad for a first time player, but they're absolutely useless, of course, to anyone who's been through this more than once. But they are sellable, so just Some of the tried to take it again go. We have our first dot, yay! 